Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Claire Cooks with Christ. So, I'm so excited to have you guys back again this week. So, last week we made the babka chocolate babka bread. You know, it was a very sweet, savory item. So, I figured this week, why not make something that I forgot about because I was driving uh, with my mom to go to the store and I saw an olive garden and I went, holy crap, I miss olive garden breadsticks. Who doesn't? The beautiful garlic, butter, very warm, delicious, and I just love olive garden also. Um, so I thought it must be online, and we're going to make some olive garden like copycat breadsticks today. It's a very simple recipe, very easy, I'm very excited. Um, it does not require many ingredients, so these are things you probably just have in your home already. So, you guys probably make it at home. So, I've already got most of it together because you had to wait for the yeast. Again, like usual. So it's warm water, instant yeast. So you can't, I would use instant yeast. Um, again, yeast is very hard to find. If you only have the active one, just make sure you activate it with warm water, sugar. Um, sugar, unsalted butter, and melted. If you only have salted, just leave out the salt because that's way too much salt. And then salt, and then bread flour. You can use all purpose though, it just will not it'll just be chewier and won't be as like breadstick like texture which is perfectly fine so what you do first is you add all those ingredients besides the bread flour first into a stand mixer and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on low speed so it adds itself gradually and you add three to three and a half cups depending on like how the dough takes um of flour and once it's all incorporated, you basically knead it in the in the uh, mixing for about seven minutes. So it's very simple, very easy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn on the mixer, which means we're gonna do fast mode because it gets very loud. So yeah. which is like that's good that's like yeah that's a beautiful thing texture so now what we're gonna do get your bowl and grab some oil real quick just grab some simple olive oil slightly not or lightly oil your bowl put the dough in there make sure your oil covers the bowl there we go. Put your dough in there. And then what you're going to do is let it rise in a warm place. So I don't really have a bread riser. I know you can like buy one of those. What I do is I turn on my oven to 200. And once it reaches it, I let it sit there for about five minutes. Um, and then I turn it off. Open, my open the oven and put it in there. And just let it rise in there. So it's going to rise for about one and a half hours. Um, so yeah, let it rise. The plastic wrap on this do not put a towel plastic wrap so it's airtight and clean up and i'll see you guys in an hour and a half hello everybody welcome back so uh they rose for about two hours uh rested i guess you could say in a warm place um so double the size they're really big right now so what we're going to do is we're going to roll them out into seven inch logs so basically just make them into a bread stick shape. They want to be seven inches so there's enough dough for each one. So I actually have a ruler out to make sure I get each of them the same exact uh, size. So this is all you're going to do with all of them. You should get 12. If you get less, then you can just put more dough on some. Or if you get more, then you just put not enough dough on some. Just make sure you have at least 12. So yeah, about this. And then what's going to happen is you're going to let them rise again for another hour. And then we're going to bake at 400 for 12 minutes. And I will see you guys then. Hey, everybody. Um, so for God Talk this week, um, I want to talk a little bit about, like, suffering and, like, trying to get through it. 
So, uh, yes, it was a couple days ago, I believe. We've had a lot of, like, rainstorms here uh, in Indiana. And so it's just been pouring and pouring and pouring. It's been crazy. And one day I was driving home from work. I was soaked. And I was like, I am just so done. I'm so tired. And I was driving home. And I saw a really bad photo. But in the photo, as I was driving, like, it was just pouring rain, pouring. And this stream of light is coming through. And I was like that is beautiful like seeing that stream of light coming through and it just made me think about all these times that like um you've heard all these catholic big catholic speakers talk about suffering how you're gonna get through it christ to be on the other side that's what that reminded me of um it reminded me of going brain is suffering no matter what you're going through suffering could be anything that you're going through you can never judge someone's suffering and then you're going through it, the rain is just pouring and pouring and pouring, and you feel like it'll never be over. And then finally you start to see this little light come through, and you start to see the good, and you start to feel better. And that is Christ. That light that was shining through all the rain and the thunder it was Christ coming through. It was the light that showed that it's going to be okay on the other side. So when you are suffering, when you're in this horrible spot, Christ will be there with open arms to welcome you. He'll be that light coming through. And I know it sucks, suffering sucks, but if you have that little light, you will be able to get through it. Just remember that he'll be there with open arms, ready to accept you and love you, just like he always has. So, but yeah. Ooh. Hello everybody, so, put them in the oven, so I put them in longer for 12 minutes, maybe about like 16, but that's just the way my oven was. That's a lot, I'm here. I actually made eight, um, breadsticks, <laughs> so they're a little big. So what you're going to do is as soon as they come out of the oven, you're going to want to instantly put on salt, garlic powder, and melted butter, just so it can soak in and get that nice garlicky yeah. texture and smell. So they smell really good. I'm not going to try one because they are burning hot. Um, but yeah, I think they're really good. I cannot wait for you guys to make them. Uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with some friends, and I can't wait for you guys to make these at home.